to uh, uh, continue to add uh, different type of content to the channel. Like I say, uh, I keep stressing because uh, to the ones who haven't subscribed, uh, uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because once I reach a thousand subscribers, I will uh, separate the content. So uh, I might leave this channel uh, strictly for uh, trucking content and I might have a uh, another uh, channel, uh, blogging. I might have one on uh, on um, automotive. Uh, so I have plenty of content I plan on uh, putting out there. So uh, until I get me a good following base, how I want, uh, I'm just gonna put it all on one channel. But uh, I made it to the house uh, home for the weekend. So I'm uh, gonna be putting this uh, little bounce house up for my my son, his name is Baby Casey. Y'all might get to see him, he might not. He might bust through the door at any time. Uh, he's gonna be one year old in another week. And uh, actually a week and a half, he'll be uh, one year old. And he already walking and talking. And uh, <laughs> I, I have some word that he been beating up babies at daycare. So <laughs> he on the urge of getting himself kicked out of daycare. So I'm not sponsored by this uh, product, uh, but I'll let y'all see the name. Uh, I'm not gonna mention it, y'all can see it. And y'all can see uh, what type of product this is. So uh, get it out the way. I, it should be, uh, I don't, I didn't see any, uh, cores or anything so I don't know how to what the process of blowing it up maybe if I read the instructions I would know that but as y'all gonna find out on this channel uh, we don't read instructions we figure things out with hands on so you are you get to see that process come on in you, you bring it you bring it up uh, 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 a baby beater back. Yeah, we want to stand back. Just come in, Hey, baby beater, come here. <laughs> look, I'm putting you up a bounce house. Yay. You see, you got look. That's that's the little guy I was telling y'all about. They go, baby Casey. Baby Casey, look. Say hey, YouTube. Say hey, y'all. I'm gonna start. Uh, haven't figured out what I'm gonna do yet, but. I'm gonna start integrating him in my videos. Either he gonna do my intro for me or my outro. And uh, yeah, hey man, he ain't ready yet. It's not ready yet. Here, put it. Bag up. Help me. There you go. I don't know, Daddy. This, this thing gonna be like a whole gym. And <laughs> then you let his sister find out. Uh oh. <laughs> you finna be in trouble. Hey, you gonna entertain YouTube while I'm putting this together? Give me that paper. You always find a paper. You in my way, son. You can get blowed up. Yep, so it's always, so let me let y'all see. It's set up like an air mattress. You know how the air mattress have the uh, uh, built-in pump? So I already know, I don't have to read instructions. So it got a cord and you have the air feel and then when you wanna let the air out, you'll turn it and uh, it should plug, it should suck, suck the air back out the same way you uh, uh, put the air in. So let me uh, put this mount back some and I'm trying to prevent, I don't want to let baby KJ see me plug it into the wall because somebody likes to plug stuff into the wall. So I'm going to sit y'all here. Thank you, sir. Okay, and I got to remember. When I put my caps at y'all, I almost forgot. I see the other one up there. So while well, he got his back turned, let me plug this up. And uh, 
this this video gonna be random. It's just gonna be a vlogging video. It's not gonna be no how to or anything. Cause uh some of the stuff I might be saying could be wrong. So it's just some content for y'all to watch and enjoy. So yeah, guys, it wasn't much to it. Uh, uh, I think that thing, I think it's like sixty dollars, and it's good size. So I thought we would think it's gonna be about the size of that playpen right there. So uh, we'll be able to have it in the house, in the room, where you could jump on it. But this might just be a one day thing. He probably gonna have to take it outside. But the good thing is, like I say, it's portable, and you able to uh, to uh, to uh. Just suck the air out just as easy as you putting it in. He haven't seen it yet, guys. Look. Once he realized how big it is, he finna go. <laughs> he finna go baby crazy. Uh-oh. Look at it. Look at it. As you see the air come out right there i'm gonna go ahead and cut, turn it off right now if i can position it so you'll have to make sure you have the air uh hole on closed and you turn it up and let the air out and uh it's just like the air mattress so everybody who uses the air mattress uh should understand how to uh operate this uh hey what you doing so uh, I might end the video here or I might add more to it, but I'm gonna um, stop it and I'll be right, right back guys. So He don't know that uh, he can get in there. He he kind of he see it But he don't understand he can get in there and play. So I guess he don't want to get in trouble. So I'm gonna Show him how he can get in there. Come on Casey Come on come this way Come this way look Go through here. Uh oh, you okay? Yeah, just worry about. Hey, son, you you going past the hole? Go in here. Give me the paper. Thank you. <laughs> hey, he he want to be a daddy, little baby now. He want to be a daddy boy. So let me see. Can I go in there with him, guys? Take y'all along on this venture. Now he want he 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 want to play with the boss. <laughs> yeah. What you doing here? What you doing here? Let me in. Let me in. You want some cover in here? Try it out. Try. It. Yeah. You know how to bounce. <laughs> So guys, he found out it's okay to get in there. He's not gonna get in no trouble. 
Don't tell your mama on me. Don't go to your mama house bouncing on stuff and say, well, Papa, uh, say, I can get it. Tell Papa, thank you. Say, Papa, thank you for mentioning it. All right, guys. So, uh, like I said, I'm just adding the uh, different content to the channel now. Uh, y'all just continue to uh, follow us on this life. I mean, on this life journey. So, uh, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Okay, guys. The uh, sleeping giant is knocked out right now. So, I'm going to add on another task. Uh, I'm going to put this TV right here. Uh, I'm going to get it mounted on the wall. So, I guess I'll give y'all a little footage of that in this vlog. And uh, hopefully this don't be too long. Like this, is my this will be my second vlog, and uh, I don't want to uh, I don't want to put too much in it, but I want to have enough. So I'm gonna sit y'all over here, and y'all just watch this journey. Don't fit. Right, and I, can I ease that thing? I can ease it in right there. Yeah. Because the sooner right there on the edge, right? Yeah. Yeah, I got a little bit of it right there. Yeah. Because if I go back this way, it's on this edge. So it should be on that edge too. So I'm, I want to be at the edge of both of them. Yeah, yeah come on. Go over to your right a little bit. This way? Yeah. Okay, that, that's a whole two by, two by four right there. That's a, that's a two by four there. Yeah, it is right here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now I got it. Yeah, 
Right there. Yeah. And then let's like, so once I put one screen, then I go back up top. I can see the level, so I won't lose this guy right here. Oh, yeah. I know it's right there on the edge. Put that both of my points. All right, guys. So I found both of my points on the wall where the studs at. Like I said, I use this uh heart stud finder and it's pretty accurate so we know it's a stud there and a stud here so I didn't prepare myself because this is a vlog so uh, let me uh, get these um, tools and everything set up and then I'll be right back with y'all all right y'all baby KJ still asleep so I can't speak too loud but uh I went ahead and pre-drilled uh, one of the holes uh, I'm finished to uh, do the other one. I don't have a, uh, I don't have a uh, drill bit. So I'm just using the, the tip of that screw to uh, start the hold off. And then once I hold my mount up there, I'll be able to uh, to go ahead and uh, finish drill it in. Like I said, that should catch plenty of that, uh, of that uh, two by four. So I'm gonna sit y'all back down. And I'm going to get back to it. so we got it uh we got the main mount on the wall 
I have to take the uh, the lids off this TV and uh, and put the mounts on the back of the TV, and then um, I'll be able to uh, latch it up there, and uh, I have some screws that you uh, screw to tighten up on the bottom for it won't come off the wall. Also. Y'all bad I want y'all to see this because they're gonna be a before and after. I'm gonna uh clean all them wires up and try to baby proof it as much as I can. And uh uh we got these uh uh they call them wire management kit. I call them wire hotters. So they call them uh, this the brand is wire wire track and it'll help clean up the wire and hide them so I'm trying to run it real neat along the wall. So I guess I'll set y'all down and try to get you a good view of uh, the back of this TV. Okay, as y'all can see, uh, here go the back of the TV. Each TV is different. So you'll have to, uh, you know, your best thing, you going out, if you're doing it yourself, you should take a, uh, you know, get the TV off the wall, off the stand, and snap a picture of the back of it for you can know which mount uh, you might need. Because, now, this is not the wrong mount, but I did see a mount that uh, kind of went in, like, in a, uh, a X that this could have went on, and it would have fit perfect. But uh, that mount, uh, that's the one that pulled away from the wall and it swing, swivel, uh, whatever, whichever way uh, you want to and we want to just to be on the wall flat and uh, Of course you want to be able to tilt it. So it just tilt up and down. So that's what we were looking for so The process with this and like I say this just do-it-yourself uh, video uh, added on to my uh, vlogging so I know it's it gonna work it's gonna be safe and secure but I'm pretty sure it's the right way and the wrong way to do it. Well, a proper way to do it. And I don't think it's no such thing the right and the wrong way. Uh, as long as you have uh, the, the right uh, common sense to uh, anchor it into a wall and uh, anchor it. The main thing, you want to uh, run that boat into a, a, a stud in the wall. You'll hear, you heard it uh, once that stud that screw caught that stud and you want to make sure the screws in here everything else is self-explaining to it like I say it won't come off the wall if you had them two uh primary screws uh uh anchored correctly so okay so and i know this because I, I i never mounted a tv on the wall but you know the I built, I used to uh, assemble furniture, uh, go to people's house and, and assemble furniture, like from Wayfair, or Walmart, whatever. So I had a stand, you know, the stand that you sit on the ground and the TV float. And it had the same concept where you screw these uh, on the back of the TV. And instead of that mount being on the wall, that mount was just hanging off of that, uh, that stand, you know, like a little pole. So it's the same concept. So that's how I know some of this stuff uh, already. But... You have to open up all these screws to see which thread fit into your TV. And then if you uh, think you might need a spacer, like some, some TV have a curve uh, on it. This is a flat surface, so we shouldn't need no spacer, baby. If it would have had a curve or an awkward uh, position, sometimes it'd be like a little block and, a, and the rest will be flat. That way your spacers will come in there. So I'm going to go ahead and get to it. And we'll find out which screw we'll need. Also, you don't want to screw too long because it'll it'll go through the thread, but it won't it won't hit this flat surface. Well, with the flat surface on the uh on the mount, so I think I might need this second screw. I'm gonna try this one right here. I'm hoping this is it because this is the smallest one. The other one. Like it's a step down on this one. I know a couple of times I had uh, T 
TVs where I had to go. Uh, I had to go to uh, a hardware store and get the screws myself because these screws didn't fit. Okay, it almost was the case, but this one's a little loose, but it's it catching the thread. So once I get tight to the surface, it will, uh, it will be good. Also, I'm gonna throw a washer on there too, and that'll help grip. So, I found the screw that I want to use. Now, I'm going to throw a washer, not a spacer. I'm going to show you. If you're confused, I'm going to get a screw. I'm going to throw a washer on that screw. So, I'm going to do that to all of them. And then, y'all know I'm not prepared because this is a vlog. So, I got to go find me a screwdriver. So let me go grab that and be right back with you. Also, you don't want to use the drill because you'll strip the, the screws in the back of the TV, the thread. So once again, like I said, this is a uh, a vlog. I don't feel like going looking for no screwdriver. So I'm finna do what I told y'all not to do. <laughs> and I'm finna use a uh, drill, but I I know how much pressure I want to put on there. So I don't have to worry about messing anything up. So y'all bear with me. This was an unplanned event. <laughs> we back to plan A. I found me a screwdriver. So, <clears throat> all right, so you have to find the up and the down on these, uh, on this mount. And like I say, this stuff is pretty self-explanatory common sense. I did not read the instructions. So the way I know which one is my up and my down as y'all can see right here, that part with the catch the top of that uh mount I put on the wall. And this right here is the safety, is the is the release. So you see it's a pin on there, you pull and it and it'll release it from that uh wall. So once you put it on the wall, it's gonna clamp on uh, flush with the wall. And like I said, you just pull that little screen to uh to release it. So by me saying that I know it needs to be like this now. Uh, it depends on how high you want and to which hole you want to uh, screw it in. So I'm just going to make it easy for myself and have it flush with the ground and put it on there like that. No, I'm not. I don't, you don't, I don't want to see that mount. If you look at the bottom, you'll see that mount on the bottom of the TV. I want to completely hide it, so I'm going to come up flush like that. So y'all bear with me. You hear the angry giant. I'm starting to wake up a little bit. It's time for him to eat. So I'm gonna have to feed him a little while, guys. So I might cut y'all off and get back with y'all. All right, so as y'all can see, I got the mounts on there. All they have to do is just uh, latch it on top of the uh, mount on the wall, and then it have a click. So once it click, it, it, it be secure. Oh, it's 
let it get. Bless you. Tighten that screw down some more. A little pop pop, you ain't put the screw on that good. stop in one spot but it's high enough so i'm gonna leave it uh i'm gonna leave it before it can slide so it'll be a slide and the tilt is tight so i'm gonna loosen the tilt until i get it right then i'm gonna tighten it back down but i'm gonna let it keep sliding for you can adjust it easy but that's my first time uh mounting the tv i know it's level because i hope i showed it better on on the uh i'll show you right here too on the actually um mount it have a, uh, a leveler on it. So, as y'all seen when I first started, I uh, I got the stud found them. I found the studs. What I had an idea with the stud was that I put my uh, mount up there and I held it with one hand and had a stud find it with the other hand and I marked it into and, and, and the, uh, and to your, uh, your grooves where you were gonna go into the wall and like I said, you know, because I was uh, making sure I didn't leave any screws. So it's really not hard or time consuming. It just, uh, when I was putting those screws into the mount, actually on the TV, uh, I want to make sure I take my time and had them on there tight because I didn't want to drop the washer and then realize it. So, all right, so I got the playpen in the corner. Uh, but I got the TV uh, mounted how I want it. Uh, I wasn't able to run the cords all in parallel. Uh, right now, so I just uh, ran them uh, three different ways, and I ran them to uh, this one going straight down. Because uh, I still got to find like a mount to put that cable box on. So this is what I got completed today. Got the play pin up, and I got the TV mounted on the wall. So uh, we got a lot of accomplishments today, and uh, baby Casey still. <laughs> He's still hanging in strong, so I'm going to get ready to put him to bed. But I appreciate y'all for watching. Uh, I want y'all to like, comment, and subscribe uh, to the channel if you already haven't. Uh, like I said, uh, make sure y'all comment on uh, which video, which type of content you like uh, the most so I can continue to produce that the content for you all. But uh, thank y'all for watching. Be blessed.